when did you join the fashion industry? Oh, uh, the fashion or industry. How, how did, where did this story begin? <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, wow. My how, fashion how journey. How far back? Yeah. It's, it's, it's almost not really easy to, to say it was yesterday. Yeah. It's been since I was a child. Tell us. My mom was a tailor. And um, we, I watched her stitch clothes and make clothes for us. And in the process, I could also just, you know, get in and do a few things here and there. Mm. And I grew up really wanting to do something different and do it better than uh, what she was doing. Mm. So I was very intentional in, you know, becoming better than my mom. Mm. <laughs> yeah, better than my mom. So I, it's been from childhood that then I went to high school. Although in high school I didn't do home science. You did not do home science? No, I didn't. I did art. Okay, still, I, still creative. I did art and music. I, I paint, I sing, I, I dance. I you sing? Oh, yes. Sure. Soon releasing my album. You're kidding. <laughs> it's an old age. <laughs> no, but that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I will release something soon. Okay, that part I didn't know. Anyway, yeah, keep going. Will, yeah. Will be yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, I didn't do home science in school. But I did art. I was a very creative child. And then after high school, I went and I went for military training for about two and a half years. And then went to college to do fashion. And the rest is the history. Rest the, rest history. Is history. The, the rest is history. Um, went and did fashion and then started doing my own fashion business as a freelancer, you know, with no business registered. You know, the way mm -hmm. you start. Yeah. Uh, please, yeah. can I can you can I bring a material? Can yeah. you you know can you bring a material for you for us to stitch for you? So it took us it took me quite a long time to get into that space. Um, but the first client that I had was myself. Mm. I was my first client mm. because I believed in you know keeping practicing, doing it uh, for myself, wearing it, walking with it outside there. And uh, people were like, where did you get that piece? I said, oh, I did it, you know. So I could do it afraid and go perfect the work. And what we were doing then, you can't compare with this, what we are doing now. Yeah. It's been a process of so many years of practice and, and improvement. And um, yeah, it has been the journey. So now it's about 25 years. 25 years yeah. in the fashion industry. Yes. Perfecting the art. Perfecting the art. Oh, wow. And creating other... Creating other things within mm. the fashion industry. Because then I, dis I saw that um, given the challenges that I faced as a child, I was a very creative child, and um, some, I felt, that's what I felt, I wasn't being understood. Because I was this creative child who does things differently. Yeah. Um, if you look at my performance maybe in class in school, I was very good at arts, but not very good at sciences. Um, if you go back home with your report card, I mean, your parents get disappointed because then it's, it's not a very good report. And mm. I'm sure this coming week, the results are coming out yeah. and I'm sure their, their parents out there or, you know, as candidates were also very scared uh, of the results that are going to receive. So I did face that. So I looked at it and said, for, for every challenge I've faced in life, mm. I want to create a solution oh, for it. Goodness. So then, as you mentioned, all those things that I'm able to do, then it with, with, with my childhood, I've created one hour Tinder, which is a children's um, fashion school yeah. that teaches kids from six years to 17 years, where we have a program that we are able to train them to be fashion designers at a young age and even run businesses. So a number of them have been able to join our program already running their businesses, being guided by their parents. And um, then for fashion, the fashion college, which is we are MEPA Institute of Design, yeah. which is yeah. licensed and... Um, registered by, by the government. So we are a private Tibet institution that provides national exams. Uh, we give NEC exam, Tibet and NITA. And uh, we, again, with my experience as a designer and employing people and having interns coming to, to work for us, I've been able to see that there's the training, I had to train again. Like someone is from a graduate who has done fashion for four years and you've come to work with us. I have to take you through a process of training again, where I have to teach you stitching, where to source, how to do it. It's, so I felt it is, you're doing a double work. So you're supposed to come and add value to my, 
to my business, yet I'm taking time to train, train you. Train you first. So then I felt there were some gaps that needed to be done and then also very intentional in training and thus um, FI Institute of Design. So we started, you know, as just a place where People could come and do part-time. It wasn't really a registered per se. It, was, it started at the MEFA Art Center where anybody could come in, do a few classes and leave. But then uh, three years ago, I felt that we now need to take it seriously and register and just become a fully fledged college. And yeah, we, held, we got the approval and we are ready to receive students now. So we look forward to creating brands and creating um, employable Kenyans who can be able to go and work at factories and work in, run their own businesses. So. That's another thing. Mm. Uh, the other one is Fashion Agenda Africa. Mm. Fashion Agenda Africa is where now I mentor young designers, uh, young designers from all over Africa. And currently I mentor in about nine countries, uh, South Sudan, Sudan, uh, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Burundi, Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, to mention but a few. And how did it come about? Mm -hmm. It came about by young designers reaching out to me, either on social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and say, I can you admire your work? You're very focused. You know, I'd like to be like you. Can you help me? Can you? So I felt, oh, there's so many coming from different, not just in Kenya, but from different areas. Um, I started now by just creating a WhatsApp group, <laughs> you know, wow. of, of all the designers yeah. coming together and then yeah. registered Fashion Agenda Africa. And I never imagined it could grow to, to even be impactful in people's lives. And having the young designers around me mm. really made me appreciate um, the hardship that I went through that I'm able now to create a solution to other young designers. Mm.